one topic that goes with assembly drawings and bills of materials and balloon drawings is an exploded view. So we're going to learn how to create an exploded view of an assembly in this lesson. Let's open up the motorcycle assembly by clicking in the view and then selecting the open assembly icon from the pop-up toolbar. Exploded views are associated with configurations in SolidWorks. So let's switch over to the Configuration Manager. If you expand the existing configuration, you'll see that there's already an exploded view, and it has several associated explode steps. If you are familiar with older versions of SolidWorks, you may remember that each configuration used to be limited to only a single exploded view. But now we can create multiple explode views per configuration. So if you right click on the configuration, you should be able to create a new exploded view. The explode functionality in SolidWorks is fairly easy. We need to check a couple options here. In this first exploded assembly, I'm just going to explode out the major subassemblies. And then I'll create a drawing of each subassembly, say the fork where the individual parts within the fork will be exploded as well. So I want to make sure that the Select Subassemblies Parts is deselected. If this was selected, you'd be able to select the tire, the wheel, and explode them independently. But I want the entire subassembly to explode as a single unit. So let's start creating our exploded view. In an exploded view, you just select what you want to explode, SolidWorks will highlight it, and then you use the manipulator to explode that component a certain direction and a certain distance. Let's pick the rear wheel assembly and explode that out. It's a good idea to create your explode in approximately the same view angle that you're going to use on the drawing to make sure that all of your parts are visible and nothing is hiding behind another part. Now that I'm down to the frame as the last component, I'm going to switch this option to select subassemblies parts because there are two subassembly parts that I do want to explode individually. One would be the chain, another would be the gas tank. So if we look at the explode steps that we've created, we've created 13, and as I select each explode step, SolidWorks highlights the components involved in the explode and it offers a manipulator so that I can change the explode distance if I want to. You can also expand the explode step so you can see the components that are involved in that particular step. So now this explode view has been added to the list under the default configuration with the original exploded view. Let's go back to the assembly drawing now and put this exploded view on the second page. Before we do that, I just want to make sure that I can save this current view. So I press the space bar to get the view orientation box up and then click on the new view button and give this a name, something creative like exploded view. I'll flip back to the assembly drawing with control tab, change over to the second sheet, delete all of the predefined views, and I'll select one and shift select the last one in the feature manager. Press delete on the keyboard and then A for yes to all. Now to get the view on this drawing, I'll insert drawing view, model, motorcycle is already selected, so I'll press the arrow. Reference configuration is default, show an exploded state, yes but I want to show the explode view three. And I need to make sure that I'm selecting the correct view, so scroll down to exploded view and place this on the drawing. The size is much too small, so instead of a custom scale, go to sheet scale, see if that's too big. Sheet scale is much too big. First we'll accept this, zoom out, 
move the drawing view off the page so I can get to the sheet itself. Right click, properties, scale 1 to 2. Instead, I'll make this 1 to 10. And now I can drag the exploded view back onto the drawing. Press F for zoom to fit. Set any other settings that I think are appropriate and accept.